And my path really ultimately comes, uh, comes back to starting with looking at communities and, and seeing how citizens could really have an impact on them in ways that they felt most strongly about. So without telling people what they should care about, thinking about what at a, a local level people really should um, be taking an interest in and then trying to have an impact on or taking action on. Uh, and did that with, uh, I worked with idealist.org for a while, it took different issues, uh, mostly through the nonprofit sector and really ultimately saw that uh, local, state, and national government had a tremendous impact on those things as well. So whether it was looking at um, broad swath of issues and how people could have an impact on them, as, or looking at specific issues, so coming out of the clean energy community as well and seeing how um, how clean energy impacts the economy, how it impacts the climate, how it impacts every community in the United States, whether you know be local or as a national community, um, that that was something that required it required congressional, it required executive input, and then it also, uh, conversely, should require or should at least allow for um, citizen input and citizens to take action on that and really have a voice. And I saw that it didn't. Um, and that was one issue. And so you kind of talk to your friends working in the healthcare industry, or you talk to friends working in, in other issues, whatever their issues might be, and saw that underneath it all was this inability to really interact and, and see. Uh, what government was doing and then really have meaningful actions based on that. So uh, transparency was kind of then, at least as the way I saw it, and, and as I came to Sunlight, uh, to be part of the Sunlight Foundation, um, was that underneath all these issues that people care about, kind of the issue pie, if you will, uh, all the different pieces that make up a community or society, that transparency was really the the pan that, that held up that pie and that uh, really working to, to create a more uh, robust transparency pan would really allow government to be more accountable and, and consequently more uh, responsive and, and really um, serving of the communities that they should. Uh, which is a, you know, it was the original idea, right? It was what democracy was always supposed to be about and, and now we actually have the opportunity to make it that way. Um, I think the area that, that government can be most improved uh, really isn't you know, just one division or kind of one area. It's really more about the process of government. Um, we, you know, we look at kind of the results of government. We look at the impetus of government, but how things go from one place to the next. Uh, there's many different opportunities for increased transparency, for increased, uh, increased rather, uh, accountability. And I think in all those places, people can have a bigger impact. And so. Um, as we kind of bring the process into the light, as we make it more transparent, and then people can see where their their actions can can leverage best, um, I think that's really the area. And, and, and social media allows for that uh, by making it something that the public can um, can see. But then also, when you can see not only what the government is doing, but how somebody has already acted, how you can either enhance their action or do a, do uh, another action unto yourself, uh, start something organized around that action, so you can. Um, bring that out into to the mainstream media, out into your community, and really get people involved in what you care about as well. Um, I think the process of government and governing uh, is really an area where social media and, and citizen involvement can really have the biggest impact. Yeah, the killer app, if you will, of uh, what will make government more open or what will allow people to have greater access. I think in many ways the, the, the single biggest barrier is really the ethos uh, that people have towards government and how then subsequently or or maybe who knows, chicken or the egg question I suppose. Um, but I think both the ethos that citizens have about government and the kind of approach or attitude or ethos that government has about how it governs um, is really one of the single biggest things that can change. So when when citizens just fundamentally start with the idea that they should have a voice and that this is a process they, they should be involved in and that is how they approach government, um, I think that will change their behavior. And I think, conversely, when government approaches it as though um, the default is now that information is open rather than secretive, uh, when the default is that I solicit feedback and advice and support from the citizenry um, versus I know all the answers and I'm going to tell you how it is and I'm going to make a decision that's going to impact you without your input, uh, when, when those things start to change, I think we really have the killer app, right? Because then you can build, you build technology on top of behavior, not always the other way around. Um, so sometimes maybe, but I think in general, when you start to change the approach to how people behave, you really start to change the way that things ultimately uh, end up being enacted.
Uh, I think the thing that's most exciting for me about uh, Government 2.0 or, or more transparent, accountable government, um, the most exciting thing is really in many ways, and this is a little bit funny to say, but uh, is the, really the excitement of the people who are now able to be involved in government. Uh, so, you know, every day I come into the office and my job as the you know, engagement director of Sunlight is, is really to pull people into the process and, and communicate with them and let them know what is happening with government, how they can have an impact on it and, and take action. And I think uh, the more that, that we're able to see how people respond to that, when you say, look, we need you to come and help us make government serve you better by being more transparent, being more accountable, being more responsive and, and really uh, taking actions they're taking actions on, on behalf of the citizenry that they were always supposed to serve. And the way that people are responding to that and, and seeing that actually can be a reality now, that we have the tools, that we have uh, the right ideas, that, that through social media, through technological platforms and new data uh, being open and available to the public, that, that we really can not only see what government is doing, but we can also have an impact on that and really make it serve us in the way that it was supposed to. Um, the excited response that, that people have when we say that that's what we're doing uh, is really the thing that gets me most jazzed and so I'm, I'm really lucky to be a part of that and, and lucky to be part of Sunlight which is really more uh, of a community unto itself than an organization so really a, a group of people around the country not just a, you know, our little office in DC.